You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you may have the gaming dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all... Let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. You elevated both your legs to make it harder to notice that you were hiding a, hiding a body under the blanket. Let's just hope whoever came in would notice that big bulging body under the pillow that's under the blanket. Oh, you're by yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, y anything you need? No, nothing really. I woke up to, uh, to pee and noticed Gil wasn't around. I thought he sneaked in somehow. Ah, I haven't seen him either. I wonder where he went. Yeah, I wonder. I think, uh... Is he licking my pants? He's licking my pants! Hmm? Something wrong? You closed your legs so you, so you wouldn't be able to do anything weirder than that. But you still somehow removed your pants, at least revealing your underwear pouch. Ah, no, I think my leg's cramping up. Oh no, do you need me to help you make it feel better? No, don't come closer. Huh? I mean, I, I sort of smell weird right now. I don't want anyone to smell it. Ah, that's okay, then. Ah, uh, now he was the only friendly person's orders. He patted the pillow with force to tell him to stop. C cramping. Oof, sounds really bad. You're lucky that he thought you were moaning in pain rather than pleasure. Do you have an ice pack? If so, I can get it for you. No, that's fine. Can he realize what danger he's putting us both into? Still, I'm still wondering where he went to. Yeah, me too. <sighs> The position you were in made it easier for Coach Gil to reveal your most prized possessions, the vital areas. You had no time messing with your team. <laughs> one, of your, one of your sensitive spots. You could feel that you were leaking like crazy right now. I feel so helpless. I'm sorry I can't help you out. You're fine. <laughs> fine. Just being here is enough for me. It'd be pleasurable if your life were in danger here. Deciding that it was enough, you told Mr. Parker that you're going back to rest. I hope you feel better soon, Henry. I'm sorry that I woke you up. Yeah, that's fine. Good night, Mr. Parker. See you soon. Mm hmm. See you soon. Once you closed the door, you lifted the blanket and gave Coach Gill a big thwack on the head before adjusting your pants. Are you trying to get us killed? He wiped his mouth with a satisfied grin on his pan grin painted on his face. But nothing happened from it, right? What happened to not doing weird things without my permission? You guided me into your pants. It was too inviting. Your scent, to uh, everything. It was slightly flattering, he had to admit, but this was not the time to gush over it. How conflicting. I'm... Get out! Oh, uh, okay. Worth it, though. I'm not letting you sleep in the same room as me anymore. I know you won't do that. You liked it, didn't you? You threw your pillow at him as he walked out of your room. For some reason, he managed to get out without being caught. How he did it, how he did it wasn't your concern, but... What am I going to do with this raging boner now? Maybe I should have asked him to finish what he started. You slapped yourself to pull yourself together, but maybe a little bit too hard. Ow! Ugh, whatever. Good morning. Hmm. Rise and shine! Ah! It caught you by surprise that Parker just appeared out of nowhere and greeted you. Gah! And it seemed like your lie in April became a reality. Legs! Cramping! This wasn't a lie. Your legs were cramping up. That hurt. Twice in a row? Oh, no. Is there anything, any way I can help? No. I'll be fine. Oh, God, the pain! Mr. Parker stood there looking at you, unable to help. After a short while that felt like eternity, your leg muscles finally calmed down. I should teach you not to lie about something like that in the future. Yeah, leg cramps fucking suck. Um, I got a really particularly bad leg cramp, leg cramp on our flight across the country. Um, oh god, it, it, it just hit me in the, it just hit me in, um, in the middle of, it just hit me, like, instantly. And I just had, I had to stand up suddenly in my seat because it hurt so damn bad. So I looked so weird, just suddenly bolting upright in my seat in the middle of a flight. <laughs> anyway, phew, I'm okay now. At least this one lasted shorter than the previous one. Previous one? Right, of course, yes. Hmm? Anyway, I was here to wake you up, but I think the way I woke you up was wrong. Sorry. No, it's okay. Oh yeah, we found Gilbert. Coach Gil? What about him? Hmm, you already forgot? He was nowhere last night. Ah, I'm still looking up, sorry. Ah, yeah, that's okay. To you, he wasn't nowhere, but in your room. Beneath this blanket and stiffened your crotch, to be more exact. Nothing else. 
Coffee time. <sighs> Some good coffee. Weird thoughts. So, uh, where was he? He was sleeping behind the couch the whole time. I just missed him because he was all curled up trying to get warm. Ah, I feel bad for him. Me too, but it was for your safety. I think I know why. Heh, <laughs> you're saying it like he'd eat me up whenever he had the chance. Well, in a way, yeah. I believe you, I, I believe you, Mr. Parker. Well, I mustn't hold you any longer. If you want, take a shower and go to the kitchen afterwards. We're making boxed meals for later. We're making quite a lot, so you can eat some breakfast. You can eat as much breakfast as you, you can eat. You can eat some as bre oh, you can eat some as breakfast if you want. Ah, okay. I think I'll do that. Thanks again, Mr. Parker. Don't mention it. It's still early, so take your time. Will do. Huh. Thought everything went well so far, but I should get up and clean myself now. Morning, everyone. You said everyone, but there was already only Anders present. Mark was, well, still sleeping on the floor with your quilt. Unless he looks comfortable. Good morning. Hey, Anders. Up so early? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go shower now. Okay. Huh. <sighs> now I'm all dressed up. Uh, I think I should pack my clothes now. You really took your time showering today. It was needed after what happened earlier with Coach Gill. Although you didn't, although you didn't do what you were supposed to do, jerking off. You wouldn't want them to get suspicious that you stayed in the bathroom for too long. Let's hope it wouldn't bite you in the ass later on. While heading back inside, you noticed Mark ran into the bathroom as fast as he could. You wondered what happened, but at the same time, it wasn't your business. As you put your neatly folded clothes into your backpack and hoped that you could cram some more clothes inside, Mr. Parker came in to tell you that breakfast was ready. I wonder why Mr. Parker came in instead of Coach Gill. Hmm, is he getting suspicious, or is Coach Gill busy? Either way, I'm just happy that we left that situation unscathed. Once you were done packing up, you headed toward the kitchen. <sighs> ah, there you are. Come here, sit down. This was your own... This was your own house, but for some reason you were being treated like a guest. Since there was no empty seat for you to sit down, Mr. Parker was getting ready to stand up so you could sit on his place next to Coach Gill. But Anders was faster, and you ended up sitting there instead. Don't mind me. Ah, are you sure? Yeah, I'm not eating anyway. Sure enough, you saw that he didn't, ha that he didn't have anything on his face on the table. And when he stood up, he grabbed a big sheet of seaweed snack and started eating it. Where's that? Where'd that come from? Let's not fret about it for now. Hey, Lars, did you make these today, too? Ah, uh, yes, but Gil and Parker assisted me. Ooh, I bet it's gonna be delicious. But let's dig in. We can talk later. Okay. Wait, where's Mark? He said I'll eat later. Just make sure you guys have some leftovers for me. Or something along that line. Ah, okay. Everyone ate breakfast in high spirits except Gil. Except Gil looking upset and Lars looking somewhat nervous. Mark presumably just finished with showering, walked out of the bathroom with a towel wrapped around his neck, approached everyone sitting in the kitchen. What? You guys you guys are done eating already? Yeah, just finished actually. Oh shucks. Well, did you guys at least put some aside for me though? We did. I put it on the counter over there. Thanks, Mr. Stone. Don't mention it. I'm done eating, so I'll go back to the living room and see if I missed something before we leave for the bus. And oh Lars, I think I'll need your help. Huh? Okay. Just leave the dishes there. I'll do these. No problem. Thanks, Parker. You're welcome. Lars and Coach Gill left the table. Only you, Mark, Anders, and Mr. Parker remained. Second y'all. Coffee time. Oh. So good. So good. I got this feeling. Ow. Okay. Did something happen between these two? Or rather, did something happen between you and them? Huh? Why me? He leaned over the table and whispered, It's real estate. No. I know that you invited him to your room last night. Ah! Don't worry, though. I won't say anything. Ha 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 ha. I guess it's not too important right now. He glanced over Anders, who was sitting next to him eating a seaweed sheet. What? What are you, what are you boys talking about? Right. He's still here. Were you talking about Gilbert? Sort of. That wasn't... Sort of. He really was talking about Coach Gill. Ooh, earlier this morning I noticed that he wasn't sleeping in the living room. I thought he sneaked into Henry's room, but he wasn't there. Oh, really? But if he wasn't Henry's room, where was he? He was behind the couch, so I couldn't see him, apparently. Is that so? Yeah, I even woke Henry up. I still feel bad about that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. 
But you, but did you believe him just like that? Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Well, we shouldn't talk behind people's backs. So go eat your breakfast, Mark. Ah, fine. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? Just make sure that you have all you need in your bag or you'll regret it later. As soon as Mark said that, everyone started checking their backpacks as if they missed something. You included. I think I have everything I need. All good? If so, let's head to the bus stop near Bublix. Good old Bublix. I think we got here a tad too early. Seems like it. Well, that's fine. It means I can get some more Z's. How many more times? How many times do you need to sleep in a day? It's as many as it takes to feel less sleepy. It's a cat, just a cat thing. Ugh! Go bother someone else, Anders. I'm sleepy. And just like that, he fell asleep on the bench next to Publix. How'd he do that? I'm starting to wonder if he's narcoleptic. What's a narcoleptic? As someone who has narcolepsy. It's also called excessive, uncontrollable daytime sleepiness. Oh, okay. Is it bad? I wouldn't know. Oh, I see. Okay, then. Right. There's something I need to tell you. Hmm? Apparently Mark knew that you snuck into my room. Ah, all right. That's it? Yeah, what about it? You weren't surprised at all? It's Mark. Nothing gets past that guy. You're right. Well, anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> Henry, a moment, please. <sighs> oh? Now wait over there, then. Do your thing, both of you. Thanks, Coach Gale. I'll be back before you know it. I think you should be more careful around Coach Gill. Wait, what does that mean? I'm not sure how credible it is, but there's something really wrong here. I thought we were supposed to be having fun at the beach later. We'll still do that. You don't have to worry. I'm just asking you to be careful. Uh, all right, Anders. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't let Mark and Coach Gill know about this exchange, please. If they asked you, tell them that we were talking about our school project. I want you to be as convincing as possible. Oh, okay, Anders. Thanks, Henry. Mm-hmm. That was weird. So, what did you two talk about? Ah, we were just discussing our school project. I see. Good luck with it. If you need any help, let me know. I'll do that. Thanks, coach. Don't mention it. That went smoothly. Almost too smooth. Ah, I can't shake this feeling away. What did Anders mean? I don't remember asking you this. I was asleep. I think I slept fine. I don't really remember. That's good, then. I had a weird dream, though. Oh, do you still remember it? Sort of. What was it about? I remember something about my twin brother and some group of kids that visited us. Thank you, y'all. Coffee time. Pumpkin spice coffee is divine. Oh, Herbert? Wait, you know him? Have you forgotten that I used to visit your house often? Right, you did. How's he doing? He's doing fine, I think. You think? He's your twin brother! That's a new expression for Gail. <laughs> I haven't gotten in touch with him lately. Oh, why is that? You two were close back then. Like two peas in a pod. Really? Your brain is beyond repair. I know that. I need to say it to my face. I'm just pulling your leg. But I met a long time ago before high school. Huh? Looks like the bus is here. Let's hop on. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go. Wait, what about the stuff you were going to tell me? I'll tell you more later. <laughs> Shoot, now I'm getting more suspicious. Come on, Henry, deep breaths, deep breaths. Are you coming, Henry? Y yes! When you hopped on, you noticed that there were no passengers on the bus other than your group. Hey, let's take those seats in the back. I don't like the ones near the entrance. Gil, let's sit next to each other. Hmm? No way, I'm sitting next to Henry. <sighs> we talked about this, right, Henry? What? No, we didn't. Ah, what is he doing now? Play along. Oh yeah, we did. He tugged his arm and guided him into his seat. Oh wow, eager, aren't we? Hmm, that's fine. We can sit together instead, Parker. Yeah, go sit with him. Shoo, shoo. Okay, Lars. The bus departing for Waterfront Village is about to close its door in five minutes, and a ticket check is about to commence. Please have your tickets or passes ready for inspection. Thank you. Stop messing around and sit down, all of you. Whew! We're gonna be here for a while. Is there anything you want to do, Henry? Huh? No, I'm just going to sit down and enjoy the beautiful view. Oh, you can look at me whenever you want, sweetie. I'm at the landscape. I'm bored by the sight of your face every day. 
You said that jokingly with no ill intention. And then Coach Gill caught on to you, so it didn't have to. You didn't have to explain anything. Huh? <laughs> you wound me, Mister. Hmm. Well. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.